Hi, good morning. This is Jason Sen from daytraderideas.com. It is Friday the 20th of September, expiry day. Uh, so we're going to have a look at some uh, expiry day for the indexes anyway. So we're going to have a look at some of those this morning. Uh, this is the S&P, e-mini S&P. Uh, obviously big spike up on the old FOMC uh, activity this uh, week on the Wednesday, was it? Um, but the S&P really has only just, hang on, there we go. Uh, if you look at these trend lines here, which go back to the beginning of the summer, uh, beginning of June. Uh, you can see that we're stuck in this sort of pattern, really. So although we had a huge spike up and we did, in fact, make new all-time highs for the mini S&P, we are really only just, just bouncing against this, this trend line up here. Um, uh, yesterday, we spiked higher to 1726, but we, we did retrace back to near the open. So not quite as bullish as it might seem when you look at a daily chart. Uh, obviously, we're very overbought, uh, but we have been for a while, so that's not particularly important. But just be careful because this sort of trend line around 17, 18, 19, if it does continue to hold and if we close below here, uh, this is the December contract, if we close below here uh, today on a weekly close, that might just trigger some profit taking into next week. I'm not saying that we should get particularly bearish on the contract, but certainly it's a little bit overdone and we could see some profit taking The Eurostox futures is uh, painting a similar sort of picture. This uh, upper trend line, this black upper trend line, goes back to February of this year, so quite a long way. Uh, you can see we've just we've just uh, attempted to break through it, but we haven't managed to close above it. Um, yesterday we retested Wednesday's high, which was uh, 29.58, the September contract. We're still looking at the September contract, but also bear in mind the December contract is trading roughly 15 ticks below the September, so well below that upper trend line. And again, perhaps same sort of picture as the e-mini S&P. Maybe we've just reached the upper band and we're going to see some profit taking in a very overbought market and drift lower. Um, you can't rule out a trip back to 28.47. That's, well, 28.60, 28.50 is possible over the next few days, but I certainly, if we saw it back down there, would be a very nice buy an opportunity because I don't see a change in the bull trend at this stage. And lastly, the FTSE 100 future. Well, we made a high in August at uh, 66, 69, 66, 70 area. Uh, the high for this month is also 66, 70 for the September contract. So a bit of a double top there and we've backed away from it. Uh, again, the December contract is trading around 40 points below the September, which goes off the board today. Uh, so yeah, again, slightly negative. Um, I'm just going to stick a trend line in here. Uh, this one looks quite relevant. Uh, there you go, trend lines magically appeared here. So uh, you can see that we've got good support around the 65.45 area on the continuation chart. If we do see a bit of profit taking, I would guess that that would be about the limit um, at this stage because uh, again, not looking for anything serious on the downside, but profit taking certainly possible. Again, FTSE 100. Uh, quite overbought on the daily chart. So uh, just, just be aware that we could see a bit of profit taking maybe into the end of the day and possibly the start of next week.